So, just so you see things, Bera. We are back with some stuff here. Okay. Uh, firstly, I want to point out that this one is a spreader that I've used. All right. You can see the setup. You have your I have my main line here. This is a pigtail swivel, so I could turn take it off and on fast. I have a uh, a, a ball bearing swivel here. I had, this is this this one I left in the you know in the uh, hold of the kayak, and it's all rusted up. But I want to show you that I've been using this. Okay, so it's been there for a while. Uh, there's a uh, split ring there and that's where the weight goes so like that i had to find a weight that kind of uh isn't too big or small just you know and you have an idea of how difficult that is it's it wasn't easy anyway so so that okay and you see my leader here okay so i wanted this uh with this kind of uh, setup, okay, this is what I've used, and you can see that these are crimped. Okay, these are not uh, like these, the twist, uh, I mean the, with the, um, see, it's not with the uh, crimp. This is all solid wire, this is the same wire, a 400 pound test. At the end of this is the uh, spoon that I was using. So you could use spoons, you could use live bait, you could use uh, um, dead bait. Very easy to use, very fast. Now with this one, it's pretty much the same. Okay, now what I found was that when you're trolling, okay, so like this. Split ring here, wait, okay, and then your leader here. You could use a spoon, you could use soft plastics, you could use whatever. Now, the good thing about this, which is which is kind of like the, the advantage of this type of thing as opposed to this one, okay, is that this is free to move. Okay, so your, your, your sinker is going to, when you're dropping down and you've reached the level that you want, you can have this uh, short piece uh, compared to this one, okay? So, compared to this one right here, okay, the sinker is quite far. And sometimes it has a tendency to actually just spin around. I mean, it's still okay and everything. Uh, but I have noticed that with this one, it's actually kind of better, okay? Uh, especially in the trolling part where when you're moving, the sinker just goes like that, okay? Tucked in there and then it's closer to the wire and then when you're pulling, it's, it just works better because it's closer. With, with the longer arm, it tends to kind of position like that because also because of the drag of this you know so I mean after a few trials and errors I've just uh, figured that this one was a bit better and if you haven't figured out yet this is a rig that is absolutely perfect on the kayak all right so another lure that's great for that is like or or are lures that are quite light for casting and kind of something that you would probably not use for trolling because it doesn't either it doesn't dive deep or uh it's just something that you didn't think that you could use because of the weight and the balance of the lure but what happens is if you have casting lures such as these these are great weights okay so 
you put enough weight just so it goes down uh, with a two meter uh, leader it works fantastically okay so casting lures okay this is a uh, as you can see there it's a max wrap long casting long range minnow okay that's a long range minnow and this is the uh, max wrap well max wrap 17 would be perfect uh, because it's actually the same size of ballyhoo okay so natural looking baits with the finish finish such as this okay so you can see here it, it, they're fantastic and the good thing about this is that especially on kayaks where you travel really slow it gives you really really good action Essentially, what this is, 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 is kind of like a, a, a downrigging system that you could use on the kayaks. And you don't need to travel much, and it doesn't have a lot of drag. And this is what makes it so good. Now, the spoons such as these, the sniper, uh, they're great, okay? Uh, if you put, instead of an ordinary swivel, if you put a ball bearing swivel, it, it works. Now when to use which okay so if you're go if you're if you're going really fast like take for example you're on a hobie or what or a similar pedal kayak spoons are very effective in higher speed ranges okay now the heavier spoons heavier spoons would work great when you're traveling slow lighter spoons are great when you're traveling fast so instead of a diving board which gives you a lot of drag and tires you out this system would make it so that you could still fish the same lures or the same lure like a spoon it gives it the same action but at slower speeds and it doesn't tire you out because the I mean if you can see the example here this weight is actually quite hydrodynamic so yeah anyway that's it for this video hope you learned something if you haven't yet please like and subscribe if you found it useful it'd be great if uh, you could click on that notification bell so that when I post new videos you get notified all right See you in the next one.